Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine channel for your favorite place, the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. Today, I've got my hands on Mars's latest version of the Puck dive computer, the Puck 4, which was first seen at the British Go Diving Show earlier this month. Now, the Puck 4 is a large screen recreational dive computer with a sharp new chip on glass display. That cog display, helps to keep the price down and it actually looks great at a range of different angles and it has a snazzy new design for the body that feels uh, a little sleeker compared to the previous versions of the Puck range. I always found the Puck to be fairly a bulky circular computer but this one especially when it's on your wrist actually feels quite nice and sleek. So there are five colors currently available for the Puck 4. You've got blue, aqua, yellow, this orange, and like a dark gray color. The main body of the computer measures 23 millimeters in depth and 61 millimeters across, and it's a decent chunky size without being too large on the wrist. I actually wore it for an extended period during the day, just doing things, and it never really got in the way. So when you're donning and doffing your, uh, your BCD, it's not gonna get caught quite as much because it's nice and rounded as well. So it's gonna be much more comfortable. Traditional rubber watch style strap with a funky hexagonal pattern on one side and a textured grip on the inside to better hold the puck for where you want it on your sleeve. The long side is extra long to wrap around thicker wetsuits and dry suits. And the buckle side has the traditional wave design to compensate for compressing and expanding exposure protection during the dive. The straps themselves are easy to remove and replace by pushing on these metal pins with a small tool. I just used a small Allen key, I think it was like one and a half mil across. So just something small and thin to just poke them through. No fiddly spring pins to catch or just lose as they spring off somewhere. Uh, it's just a small metal bar. Use a replaceable battery on the Puck 4. Uh, it's a CR2450 battery, so a fairly common size, and that ensures a reliable power source with a lifespan of up to 100 dives, depending on how much you use things like the backlight. The unit itself, including the strap, weighs in at 104 grams, which is negligible, and it has a good solid feel to it. Some dive computers, especially when they're on the lighter side, they feel quite light and flimsy, but this actually feels nice and tough. It's got a good build quality to it. Single button user interface on the bottom, so expect a series of presses and holds to navigate the computer. And the button itself has good detailing on it uh, and there's plenty of movement on the button as well so that even if you're wearing thick clunky gloves you know whether you've actually pressed the button or not which you can't on some dive computers. The screen itself measures 38 millimeters across and it has 800 segments on it so that it can spell out as much information as possible. The screen has a backlight that you can activate in low light conditions, but of course that uses up a fair amount of the battery, so it shuts itself off after about six seconds, but you can adjust between two and 12 seconds. So if you just want a quick glance, you can set it to two seconds, or if you want to be able to take a certain amount of time, but use up a bit more battery power, you can set it to 12 or anything in between. The Puck 4 is made to function down to 150 meters, which is impressive, and it has three diving modes inside it, has air, nitrox, and a bottom timer. Air and nitrox modes run off the Buhlmann ZHL16C algorithm with adjustable gradient factors. Uh, so that's one of the most popular algorithms on most dive computers today. So it's very likely to match your buddy's dive computer, and with the gradient factors, you can adjust the conservative factor. Nitrox from 21% to 99%, but you can only set up to 50% on gas number one. Uh, anything over 50%, you need to set it up as a second gas, and you can set up to three nitrox mixes if you're diving with multiple mixes on a single dive. And the third mode is a comprehensive bottom timer with a resettable average depth and a stopwatch, adding practicality to your diving experience. So if you're diving with like say a rebreather or something and you don't need that algorithm, but you need all that information and you want to be able to reset your average depth and start and stop a stopwatch, uh, you can do that in the bottom timer mode. It's not just a basic depth gauge and bottom timer. You can like reset average depths and all that kind of stuff if you're using it as a backup. Bluetooth 
inside lets you pair your Puck 4 to your smart device with the Mares or the My SSI app. Uh, with that, you can keep your dive computer up to date with firmware updates, conveniently delivered through the Mares app whenever they find like bug fixes or improved features. They can just create a new version and you can download that, uh, as well as a digital copy of your logbook that you can save onto your smart device through the Mares app. Puck 4 computer itself will record 100 hours or 100 dives, whichever comes first, um, before it starts to overwrite the oldest dive. So it's got a decent logbook built into it and it's good to download those dives every so often just to um, take it off of the computer itself before it's lost. You can set multiple alarms on the Puck 4 including a maximum depth where you'll hear an audible beep if you go below a set depth that you control obviously, a dive time where it will beep our after a, a certain amount of time underwater to either to remind you to like turn the dive, to check your gas, whatever it is. If you want to know that, hey, I've been underwater for X amount of minutes, beep, and it will do so. As well as standard decompression alerts. Uh, if you're starting to go into deco or if you're already getting close to it, it'll beep at you. Uh, ascent rate alarms, all the standards. Uh, but if you prefer a beep free dive, you can disable the audible alarms, uh, but of course, you may miss some important alarms, so do be careful with silent mode. So let's take a closer look at the computer itself and how it arrives. This is sort of how it arrives. Uh, I got my sample directly from Mares, uh, so it's got tape all over it as it was shipped. Um, but yeah, it comes in a cardboard box. Uh, you open it up, you have the computer itself uh, in its own little like display um, case type thing uh, and that really is it um, so yeah let's take a closer look at the uh, the computer itself so the computer itself yeah it's a, it's a puck sized dive computer but it does feel a bit more sleek compared to uh, pr the previous versions they've always had that kind of italian detailing to it uh, but this one just has a nice extra kind of modern edge to it the um the the, the entire body when it's on the wrist doesn't feel that obtrusive really it's um it, it's obviously bigger than a watch style dive computer and you probably wouldn't wear it day to day um but yeah just just kind of wearing it on a bare wrist it, it's not that obtrusive so getting in and out of your bcd is going to be pretty easy and navigating it uh, as i said i'm not usually a fan of um uh, of single button user interfaces because i find they can be quite complicated and uh, and tricky to uh, to navigate but Mara's really have set it out quite nicely and they've they've broken it up there's not like one entire menu that if you skip over the one that you want by accident you have to go all the way back around they've split it into just like four or five and then from there they've split it down into four or five and then they split it down so that if you do accidentally go a bit too far you're not pulling your hair out trying to go all the way back round and then you skip it again and you have to go all the way around again. They've structured it much more sensibly and it's very easy to to navigate with a press and then a hold if you want to do something. It's nice to um, uh, to navigate. And the, the, the segment display itself, it's got enough segments in there to really spell everything out it can be a little bit weird when the like uh, the size of the text kind of changes halfway through a word but you can still read it uh, it's still perfectly manageable uh, compared to some of the dive computers uh, years back you go what on earth is that trying to tell me but this one i don't think i've ever come across anything where i just don't know what it's trying to tell me uh, all of the words are quite easily understandable and just navigating it is very um, very intuitive as far as features it's got everything that most like scuba divers will need uh it doesn't have like free diving mode you could kind of argue that bottom timer you could use that for free diving but it's not really what it's made for uh it's more made for like proper scuba diving um so if you do need that apnea mode you'll probably need a different dive computer um as far as nitrox, yeah, 21 to 99% is pretty impressive and three different gas mixes that you can switch on the dive. And yeah, uh, it's, it's really nice, well put together and decent build quality. The strap 
to be able to, uh, to change the strap is very easy. Just kind of poke a pin through that and you can replace that. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's, it's nice, easy to use and uh, it's got a decent screen on it so you'll be able to see it the backlight as well it's bright in the dark but not overly bright so it's using up too much battery power and you can control how long it actually turns on for uh, yeah it's a, it's a smart little computer so who's the puck for dive computer made for it's made for recreational divers who want a large screen but a non-bulky dive computer some large screen computers can feel like you're diving with a brick on your wrist but for its size, the Puck 4 is very unobtrusive. I'm usually turned off by single button interfaces because they can be tricky to navigate the menus properly, but Maris have actually structured the menu very well and the button itself has just the right amount of play on it. Again, with some buttons on dive computers, they can be either so small or have so little movement in them that you're not 100% sure that you're, you're pressing the button at all. And then in your mind, you start to go, oh, is the button broken? Is the computer broken? Or am I just not pressing it hard enough or in the right place? The button on the Puck 4 is a good chunky size with some grippy detailing on it. And it's very obvious when you're pressing it. With an RRP of 246 British pounds, the Puck 4 sits in the budget dive computer range. It's a very reasonable price for a computer that will suit most divers' needs. It's only if you're like diving Trimix or you absolutely need wireless air integration or a digital compass where you might need something more, but the Puck 4 is more than suitable for most divers out there and is a great balance between features and price. As far as faults that I can pick with it, uh, wireless air integration, you don't have that function, but it's rare to find it in budget computers anyway. So, hey, uh, no compass, but again, compasses are hard on, dis on these kind of displays. Um, so, no, and analog compasses, they're pretty cheap, uh, so I'm not too bent out of shape about it not having a compass. Uh, connecting to the app was easy, but all you can really do is download dives and update firmware. On some apps out there, you can change settings on the computer from your phone, which is quite convenient. So if you wanna change the, uh, the Nitrox mix, it's much easier to do it on your phone and then just hit connect uh, instead of having to go through the whole menu structure. But, at the time of filming, you can't do that. Uh, you can't change those settings on the app. Uh, maybe in the future, they'll get that functionality. I don't know. Uh, I do know that Mara's mentioned bungee mounts on the product page for the Puck 4, uh, but I couldn't find one specifically for it. And I can only imagine there's a separate bungee mount like the one for the Sirius, um, where you take these straps off and then you attach a separate mount but you'll find some dive computers nowadays actually have mounted um, points kind of molded into the case design itself, which I would have liked to have seen. Um, but hey, if you're fine with, uh, with traditional straps, then it's not an issue for you. Um, I do really like the strap itself with the grippy detailing on one side. Um, it's, it's, it's a decent strap, but if some people prefer a bungee strap, um, yeah, a, a lot of computers nowadays kind of have that feature built into it for free. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I really do like the Puck 4 and can very easily recommend it. If you want to get your hands on your very own Puck for dive computer, then head over to scuba.com. Uh, I'll put a link up here and down in the description below so that you can check it out. Uh, and I'll also pop in the description a uh, link to their dive computer department also. And you can always check out our website, scubadivermag.com and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube if you're new here. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving. <laughs>